Alright guys, and welcome back to more Tales of Exilia 2. We are back after about a week hiatus. We just got back from beating Danganronpa 2. If you haven't actually checked out that playthrough, I highly recommend you check out that playthrough. Especially if you love narrative driven games you'll love that trust me that game is amazing especially like the last few twists they had man it was ridiculous there was like maybe one or two twists i did not like because it was just like man really really but you should definitely go check out that playthrough why right, here we are back with more tales of exilia 2 and you can already tell i was up to some farming i was up to some grinding i was up to wasting my time and and uh we are here. We're about to advance through chapter 12. And as you can see, Luger is pimped out looking like Setzer from Final Fantasy VI. He's got the gambling clothes. That's right. I unlocked poker. And the only way you can unlock poker is actually finishing the guy's quest here by finding the Tengu mask, which you can get by finding a cat in Drellin. It's a blue cat in Drellin that's located near a market stand. I don't know which stand, but it's in Drellin. That's all you need to know. So if you're looking for a, you know, a way to unlock poker, you gotta go find and finish that quest. You gotta go find that cat, unlock the quest from the menu, and then hand in the Tengu mask to this man. Now just to show off poker, just a little bit. I'm not gonna sit here and play poker forever, but it's annoying as fuck. <laughs> Like, <laughs> once you play poker, if you sit down a long enough time, you'll you'll get, like, a lot of chips. Right now, I only have 6,000 chips because I just got done buying a whole bunch of friendship potions, which I'm, which I'm about to explain in a few minutes. But right now, just to show off the game of poker, it, it's, it's your standard poker. It got it them multiple ways to win. You, you can only win if you get two pairs and up. Because if you get one pair, it's basically like a draw automatically. So to win, you gotta get a two pair, a three of a kind, straight, a flush, a full house, four of a kind, straight flush, royal flush, kind, or five of a kind. And right now, look at that, we got five, two, nine, eight, and ten. So right now we got eight, nine, ten. If I can get a seven or a six, or at least a jack and a seven, we'll be good. We'll have a straight. Well, we got two fours. <laughs> All right. So we got an ace, a king, and a queen. Let's see if we can get it straight. Damn, we got two kings though. That I'm, I'm not losing, I'm getting my money back though because every time I'm getting two pairs, every time I get two pairs, or excuse me, one pair, I get my money back. Like I'm getting my money back right there because I got a pair. All right, there's two fours. I'm gonna keep a king. Damn it, come on man. See the RNG in poker is ridiculous. Especially when you try to double up. Like, you didn't want to see me when I was trying to double up, guys. Like, it was insane. So, we can just go for a new hand here. That's horrible. Nice, we got three of a kind. Yes. All right, so, since we won three of a kind, we have a chance to just keep the, the money, right? Or we can go for double. So, let's try to go for double, and you're going to see some of the shenanigans this game's be on. Ho who knows? The game might not be on shenanigans now that I'm recording. Because usually it's never on sh getting shenanigans when I'm recording. But when I'm not recording, it'd be on some shenanigan type stuff. So let's go high. Obviously, if we got a low card here, we have a higher chance of probably getting a higher card. But we might get a three or a two, which might screw us over. But we got a five. Okay. Six. It could go either way here, but I'm going to go high because we have a higher probability. But it still can just go low. All right, we got a seven. Uh-oh. I'll go high, because what are the chances of actually getting a two? Oh! <laughs> oh, my God. See, that's that bullshit I be talking about. That's that bullshit I was talking about. Now, the thing is, this was happening to me all the time off camera. I had to spend like 10, I, t I spent at least 10 or 15 hours playing poker trying to get two million chips so I can max out the friendship potions and so many times what I got a joker and then they gave me another joker like what what are the chances of getting both jokers right off the bat like you know how bullshit that is you know what's bullshit what you just seen right there <laughs> what was the chances what were the chances all right now that we're done showing off poker I'm not gonna sit there anymore 
I'm going to show you what I got from poker. Like, when you get all these chips, I already amassed 2 million freaking poker chips. You didn't see all this. I did all that off camera. Hey, trust me, it, it, you better be glad I did all, all that off camera. And here, you can actually buy a lot of materials, a lot of costumes, a lot of freaking items, like the friendship potions I got. I maxed out the friendship potions. We can literally max out three characters in our party max out their affection right now if we want to but the thing is we still have this there or their story side quest to go through at the moment so what we want to do is probably disperse those po uh, potions between everybody in the party and then finish their side quest that we still have to do and then that will probably you know when we finish their side quest we'll probably raise their affection to the max if they don't max out it'll be fine because i can just play poker again for some more friendship potions but right now, what we want to do is show off some of the stuff we got. There was freaking... We got extractors that we don't even need because I already maxed out everybody's freaking uh, ex freaking elemental ores. As you can see, I got 99 friendship potions. I actually already got everybody's trophy, everybody's character-specific trophy for maxing out their affection. I'm going to show you really quick. And you're thinking like, huh? I thought you said you only got 99 friendship potions. That's right. But what I did before this, like about a, last night, what I had did was actually make a separate save file, put all those friendship potions towards like three people, and then once I got the trophy, reload the file, put it on the other three people, got the trophy, reload the file, and got the other three people. So I maxed out everybody's affection in like a separate universe, you can say, and you got everybody's trophy for just maxing them out, but I did not get the trophy to maxing the entire party out because you gotta have the entire party maxed out on one file. Now, just to show you guys something really quick, after this gets done performing the synchronization process, like, I was doing a lot of dumb stuff. I was practicing with Muse, mostly. I didn't get to play with Gaius, but that's what, that's what gonna be, the next time I got, like, some free time to play some games, just, like, while I'm rendering or whatever, I'm probably gonna put, like, that last practice session with Gaius, because I still need to figure out, like, what the hell is his retribution? I think his retribution might be when he blocks... And guards and pushes forward. That might be retribution. But the thing is, why did they say L and X? That didn't make sense. Like, he has a skill, and then it's called retribution, and you need to push L and X. So I'm like, what is the skill when he has to guard and then push forward? Like, is that retribution or not? But anyway, here we go. As you can see, my soul brother, Jew, Miller, Resonance, Alvin, my blood brother. I got everybody maxed out, but I did not get the forever besties because you got to have everybody maxed out on the same file. And yes, I spent a lot of time. <laughs> I spent a lot of time. And I, I'm pushing the button. I can't get out the screen now. Here we go. Here we go. So what we want to do before we do anything, it takes about 30 potions to max out Muse. It takes about 30 potions, so we're not gonna put 13. We're probably gonna put like 15 on there. 15, so 15 minus 99. So that was 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Alright, 15. So Gaius needs a lot too. He needs about 37 for him to max out. So we're gonna give him like maybe 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Now, Millet and Jude are already high enough, so we're gonna give them maybe like 5 or 10. But for like the lower characters, like I think Elise. At least in Rowan are probably the second lowest, so we're gonna give them like about 15. That was 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I decided to give everybody 10. Everybody else 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I guess I'll get the rest of the music because she's my wife. <laughs> Alright, so we're about to get a buttload of skits. We're about to get a buttload of skits, everybody. So be prepared to be sitting here for about the next five minutes watching the skits. Look at that. Alvin's like up there. Miller's up there. Jew's up there. Lee's up there. Leia's up there. Musee's up there. Guys is up there. Rowan. I guess I should have gave the last four to Rowan. But the thing is, we still have their quest to do, so... Just because we didn't max them out right there doesn't mean we can't max them out through their side quest. Because their side quest, as long as I pick the right options, will go up. But at this case, I don't need to pick the right options because I'll probably just play poker again if I don't get the right options. So, whatever. I ain't worried about nothing. I ain't worried about nothing. I ain't worried about nothing. Also, I picked up some new costumes for our gang. 
yes, Muse's rocking out the Sheena. She's got the she's got the Astra whatever that bang is. <laughs> she's got the rose corsage. She's got the hat style. I got her rocking out. Guys, he's just got his shades. Freaking Luger is so pimped out. Everything's covered. He's got the gant. He's got the gambler haircut. Uh, well, I ain't really do much to Miller. I like her new costume a lot. Jude is still Firefist Jude. Alvin's just a regular dude. <laughs> Here, let's give him this. <laughs> She's an angel. Rowan's still Barbados. Maybe we can give him his color outfit. Nah, screw that. Yeah, let's just keep him on Barbados. No, screw that. Give him his default. Because that rose goes really well with his default. And then Leia's. Leia looks pretty good. We can give her Exilia 1, and I think she looks pretty cool, too. Alright, whatever. We're good. But anyway, let's watch all these inevitable skits. <laughs> you can be rash sometimes, but you never give up. I admire that deeply. I learned that from Naruto. Here, I want you to have this. Maybe next time you do something crazy, it'll make getting through it a little easier. Luger, um... Oh, what up? There's something I want you to have. Here. Oh my god! It's a new... It's a new, new 3DS with Super Smash Brothers! Oh my god! It's from me. It's my way of saying thank you. How'd you know I love Nintendo products? That's not all she's saying! Whoa! Tipo, shut up! I told you it's not like that! <laughs> Girls can be so complicated! Oh boy. I'd never have imagined that at this age, I'd be spending so much time with a young man like you. <laughs> oh, but ignore my doddering old man nonsense. There's something I want you to have. Uh -oh. Speaking with you sends me straight back in time to the vibrant days of my own youth. But sometimes it's not so bad to be a geezer either. <laughs> <laughs> Luger! What up, Leia? Bam! Got you something! It's a surprise gift! <laughs> Were you surprised? We've been through an awful lot lately. And I don't know that I could still smile like this if it weren't for you. Oh man, that sounded pretty heavy. Let me dial it down a notch and just say thanks a bunch. Thanks. Not everyone supported my plan to see Olympias with my own eyes and meet the people on its streets. But I'm convinced more than ever that it was the right choice. And gaining you as an ally is a large part of that. This is but a token of my esteem. I want you to have it. Thank you very much, Gaius. The king. I noticed you gazing Whoa. off into the distance at times. Gaius again? What is it you're thinking about? Thinking about playing that new Super Smash Brothers on Friday, October 3rd. Never forget. Don't forget. No. Do not feel you have to answer. I didn't intend to intrude. Don't worry about it. Here. Take this. If you ever need my help, it's yours. There's no sense burdening yourself with more than you can carry alone. Oh man. I understand precious little of the way humans view the world. This is going to be interesting. But the time we've spent together has made it clear to me that you don't dislike me. Oh boy. I'm in a good mood today, so I'll give you this. If you asked me if I like you or dislike you, I'd have to go with like. <laughs> <laughs> okay, she put it like that. Holy shit, look at all this. News and news and news increased. Guys, guys, guys increased. Guys had like 3. Guys had 5. <laughs> Infinity with Elise increased three times. Rowan increased three times, right? Two times. Infinity with Leia twice. Maybe three. Yep. Alvin twice. I told you guys. I wasn't playing around. Jude increased twice. Mila increased probably once. Mila twice and Yuzay one. Fangs of Demons. Power to you. Shall we dance? Swallow kicks. Whoa, we got a whole bunch of arts. Body booster. Or booster. Roar, I'm a tiger. Yuzay suitor. Guys, ally, guy, psycho. We just got a whole bunch of titles. Holy cow, dude. I never got this when I was just, uh... Spamming the potions before, I would just spam the potions, not back out, and just like literally load the file again. And then we still got more stuff to get. Stun Blitz, Tiger Blade, nice. I tell him that grants Luger access to the Vitality Three. I tell him that grants Luger access to the Swallow Flight. I tell him that grants Luger to <laughs> Pow Hammer, really. Meteoric Waltz, Demon Fang, interesting, very interesting. Did, it, did they get something too? I thought they got something, which was strange. Aerial Swimmer Focus Spell, Dimension Resolution. 
Oh man, there's so much I even learned with music. Like music, I'm about to show y'all in a minute, but right now, like I honestly believe music is probably the best character for crowd control when you're using her altered air art. Like it's absolutely ridiculous because she has she has multiple arts. She has like spell cast. She's a spell caster basically. But the thing is, when you use any of those spells in the air. They become a shockwave, and the thing is, you can switch up between those different elemental affinities, and then you can use the same moves, the shockwave, and then it still counts as a different power combo all the time. As long as you hit them with a weakness first, and then continue using it, it'll switch, it to, as long as you're using different elemental affinities of those arts. Like, she's really good. She's really good at crowd control, I believe. But right now... Oh man, there's <laughs> so many, there's so much I gotta do, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that this episode right now. I'll, I'll do that later. Right now, what I wanna do is watch some, some more of these skits here, cause poker, I, we won like a million, we won a million uh, chips, and then I got a whole, I, like, I got this skit right here. Oh man, I was this close to winning. Wow, Leia, I really can see everything you're thinking written plain across your face. And I can't see anything on yours. Always so perfectly calm. It's super creepy. There's nothing creepy about that. <laughs> That's what's known as a poker face. In the game of poker, your expression can be every bit as crucial as the cards in your hand. Then the one with the best poker face of all of us has got to be Gaius. Hmm. I'll die before I let you steal this pot, Rowan. <laughs> <laughs> Or maybe not. Yeah, as soon as he thinks he's about to lose, his expression turns incredibly menacing. <laughs> Gaius's problem is that he simply cannot stand to lose. Are you in or are you out? <laughs> Toy with me, old man, and it will be the last <laughs> thing you ever do. <laughs> what the hell, guys? Wow, he is intense. <laughs> Bro, you ain't had to pull out the Sephiroth sword. Like, come on. A pity that intensity isn't justified by his cause. <laughs> Did you say something? <laughs> no, no table talk. Damn. <laughs> Such tension. I'm trembling with excitement. Oh. <laughs> that was hilarious. All right, guys. So now what we need to do, before we do anything, though, rest at it in, get our health back, get our TP recovered. And we need to go fight some more elites. Well, I already paid off most of my debts, so I don't even know what I'm talking about. I literally already paid off like a thousand debts. And I did a lot of this damn side quest, but I still need to find some cats. So I'm probably just going to leave that for later. Right now, I think I'm fine with the amount of cats I have in my uh, repertoire right now. What we want to do is go fight some elites. And I'm about to show y'all like some crazy lockdown strategy with uh, Muse and Luger. I wouldn't say it's crazy. Whoa. Where did all these come from? Oh, so are you telling me Rise Maxia as well as Olympias has his own set of jobs on their job board? I did not realize that. Interesting. Very interesting. Alright, so we need more guys dumplings. Oh, we found Noel's collar. Take your ass back to Blaze Blue. Looks like we need to get the true awakening. We need to go to where? What's the location of? Place Order Palace Archives 2. That's where we need to go. From Vera with Sympathy. Marksburg, Bridge of Unity. I guess we'll go there. And we need to do these as quick as possible. We gotta, we gotta accept all these right here. We gotta do Leia's port, report, basically the uh, advance her freaking storyline. All right, we got uh, those. Those are the most important. The one with the exclamation marks are kind of missable. Uh oh. Sorry for all these calls. But if I don't get your money, here you go. I'll get a pink here you go. Thanks. See ya. Yo, Nova's been acting all depressed lately. Well done, Mr. Kresnik. I have a message for you from President Bakor. Bakor? Bakor? I want to meet the real Maxwell. Bring her to Spirius. Oh. End quote. Please follow through at your earliest convenience. 
Damn, Vera, it's like that? You just hang up on me? You ain't gonna holler at your boy? All anyone cares about is the stupid Maxwell Mila. <laughs> the stupid Maxwell Mila. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, he actually said two words. I hate that stupid Spurious company, but I guess we have to go. Meow. Meow. Pick your battles. We got another skit, man. Man, it sure is weird to be traveling with Gaius and Muse this time. Yeah, that is weird, right? <laughs> Indeed, we were mortal enemies only a year ago. I still remember the final battle between Mila and Gaius. When Mila got Gaius in a leg trap chameleon clutch and forced him to tap out. <laughs> what? Was this for real? She's joking, obviously. <laughs> I was about to say, like, for real? I wasn't tapping out, I was reaching for the ropes. The judge called it wrong. What? Wait, what? I don't know what this chameleon clutch art you speak of is, but if it has the power to force Gaius to submit, I would very much like to learn it. Shall I teach you? First, you need to find and wrap your arms around a chameleon. What? Uh, I can't keep up with this anymore. What is going on? So who really did win? I actually know it gave recipe for roast chameleon clutch. <laughs> oh man, which one do I say? I'm gonna go with R1 because it looks funny. Luger, the joke's over. Move along. Hmm, <laughs> roast chameleon. I've never heard of eating such a creature. Served with a nice demi glace and sliced mushrooms. I believe the traditional garnish for roast chameleon is a dash of spice to give away more color. Ah, so they were talking about food. That sounds delightful. <laughs> And then maybe you can whip up a plate of Cobra Clutch. It'll make you just want to fork up everything with your tongue. Or you might say the flavors really coil around your taste buds. Stop, stop! That's not how you do comedy! You're just beating the premise to death! <laughs> oh, I almost miss when Muse and Gaius were solemnly trying to kill us! <laughs> hey, bruh. Alright, here we go. So... Let's look at the damn elite monsters here. They're all the same. All the elite monsters look the same. So it looks like we got one in the Kukar Ice Caverns. We're gonna go fight the Neokare Holomont, because I don't feel like going to the Kukar Ice freaking place. Look at that. We can need to go to Marksburg. We can need to go to a lot of places. So this is probably still gonna be side quest heavy content we're gonna go through. So what we wanna do, go to a dungeon, the Nala Lava Tubes. What the hell we need to go there for? Apparently we need to go there, but what we're gonna do is go to the Neokara Holomont. Here we go. And we need to reach probably the middle, if not the middle, probably all the way at the top. They're usually at the boss areas. So what I'm gonna do here for you guys on YouTube is probably speed this up so you guys don't have to worry about much. Ah, there he is. So, okay guys, so here we are. About to fight some elite monster action, and we're about to show off Luger in Muse. So what we might want to do here is tell Gaius to protect himself. Protect himself. Tell Muse, not Muse, but uh, Gaius and uh, Mila to protect themselves. So what I need to do, let's see, resurrection. I got squall shot. All right, this should, this is gonna be fun. This is gonna be fun. Hopefully he doesn't like flip out of stuff. But what I wanna do... What I'm actually gonna do, like, you'll see during the fight. But usually what you can do, pretty much back away from the enemy, get Muse's freaking um, power charge 3. While you're back there with Luger, what you wanna, wanna do is just spam squall shot and force the enemy to block because he'll shoot. Like a whole bunch of arrows into the sky and then it'll come down on the enemy. And most of the time they'll just be forced to block. And then while they're blocking, just come in there with a power charge three and then hit them. And then immediately, as you hit them with one weakness, they get covered by another weakness immediately. Pretty much guaranteeing a combo. But I don't know if it's going to play out that well, but we're going to find out. Damn, Gaius wasted a lot of damn TP. And we need Gaius for one good reason, his chakra circle. I could switch him out with Leia to get it, get her uh, buffs for the intelligence, but I think Gaius works out too. 
But anyway, here we go. What we're gonna do is actually fight this guy. Hope it works out. You could be a mine. Ah, oh, fuck a backdash. I hate when that happens. I hate when that backdash comes out. I don't mean to do it, but here we go. Go go with this. Alright, hold on. We gotta we gotta run. Because immediately I fucked up. I fucked up. I completely forgot about that. So here we go. We're gonna we're gonna do that. I just fucked up with that backdash. But anyway, for some odd reason, I always seem to get backdashes whenever I'm trying to, like, do a down, a down motion with the, uh, arts. I'm not gonna waste a life bottle, screw that. That's why I went to go touch that, uh, life, the save point, was to pretty much revive him without wasting a life bottle. But anyway, what we need to do, I, I started off the battle, right? I got away from him, and then started spamming Squall Shot to, uh, to lock him down or whatever, but I want to try to get this. Done right. Let's see if we can do it. Oops, fucked up. What is she doing? What in the world? What the fuck? I didn't even do half of the stuff I was doing. We gotta run. I have no clue, but I'm about to switch controllers really quick. Monster Annihilator? What the? I just got a title for running away. <laughs> I got a trophy for running. <laughs> That's hilarious. You tell me you can run away from battles and get trophies? Okay. Let's have everyone help. But anyway, I need to switch controllers because like the analog stick sucks on this. So give me a second, guys. I need to go ahead and switch a controller because I I just keep getting backdashes where I'm not supposed to be getting backdashes, and it sucks. So, I got my damn freaking controller. I got my new controller. Here we go. We're gonna try this again. Hopefully, this time, backdashes don't fuck up. And I was getting some weird motions out of that. <sighs> yeah, the one I had before is just completely worn out. I don't think you can get a back attack on these guys. Let's try this again. Here we go. All right, now what I need to do, now that we got his weakness, we need to use Chakra Circle, but I need to link up with guys at the same time. So before I even do anything, link up with him. Have him use Chakra Circle, because being linked up with him also gives you the same uh, buffs. All right, now that I got the buffs, switch back to Luger. All right. All right, now what I need to do is taunt. Now, with her taunt, it's like so godlike. Look at that. Look at this lockdown. Look at this lockdown. Look at this shit. Because whenever she taunts, she has a skill which recovers 30% of her fucking TP. Alright, here we go. Never saw this coming. Here we go. That lockdown is too real. That lockdown is too real, dude. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And like she does mad damage because she has like a couple of buffs. So what I need to do is switch to freaking uh Muse and back off immediately. Who's who? 
Never saw this coming. Don't lose, guys. Squall shot. He's in over limit, so I can't really do much about it right now. Here we go. Yeah, he's done. He's done. What the fuck? There we go, he's done. Woo! Like, damn, that could have went a lot smoother. Beat him in 2 minutes and 28 seconds with just Muse and Luger. And she has a lot of skills where, like, she can just keep her TP up for the longest. She's like a rechargeable TP battery, dude. Like, what she can do is literally, after you knock him down with their weakness, just sit there, recover TP, and just keep hitting them. With her freaking shock spirit, because it was doing like 8,000 apiece, right? Every time I would use it, it was doing 8,000 to it. Because if you go back, rewind the footage, you'll see how much damage she was doing in like, with a simple jump in the air shock spirit, jump in the air shock spirit, 8,000, 8,000, 8,000. But you gotta make sure you're using uh, Rock Waltz as the altered art, because th I think that's the highest damaging one I have at this moment. It could be something else that she can use to, to do more damage. But, dude, like, Muse is ridiculous with that lockdown game, like, it, it didn't go as smooth right there, but, oh my god, you should see it when she freaking, uh, get, gets it all the time, like, whenever you knock them down, because I was getting a lot of freaking backdashes, but whenever you knock them down, you can keep using her, uh, right art, or her, basically, her altered rock waltz, or whatever you call it, whatever the earth elemental art she has. And it transforms into the shock sphere. If you keep doing it, it has a chance of petrifying them and then resetting the combo. But anyway, yeah, that's all I wanted to show off here. And what we're going to do next time on the next video is actually go through more side quests and whatnot. And I'm going to save the game, take a short break. And once we come back, we'll be back with more Tales of Exilia 2. So I'll see you guys very shortly.